Okay, folks. So I'm expecting a phone call, so I'll probably get interrupted at some point here. So got all four screws out. <laughs> I got I got the plastic out without breaking anything. So, like I said in the last video, I, I took the two bottom ones out, the most rusty, and they came out no problem. And the top ones that are not so rusty were the ones that were the problem. So I tried for a little bit and nothing was working. So I gave it the shock treatment. <laughs> I can't remember what this is called. Impact driver or something. I can't remember. So you stick it on and you give it a whack with a hammer. And it pushes down and twists at the same time. It kind of gives the screw a shock. Which tends to break it free. Wow. All the paint peeling off. I think that bar is still alright, it's just the, just the surface. I'll clean all this up anyways and take a look at it. But I think it's just the surface that's rusting off of it. No big deal. I'll clean that all up before I start doing any welding. I can't believe the condition of this, this is wow. So, I'm rather disgusted with Tim Hortons. What else is new, right? Well, every once in a while, they give a survey. And you give your opinion based on your last visit or whatever. And they just basically ask, you know, what you ordered. Um... Uh, impression of the store's cleanliness, inside, out. Um, just basically questions about your experience and the quality of the product and stuff like that. Would you recommend it? Would you visit again? Just, you know, basic questions. But you get... I have been getting... I get these, like, maybe once every month, every couple months, something like that. <clears throat> And then I can get a French vanilla cappuccino for a buck. So I had one this morning before I went out. Actually this afternoon before I went out. I gotta sit down. And... Roll up the rim is finished now. So... Before I start using my... Pathetic winnings. I decided to... Go grab me a cappuccino today. For a dollar. So I used one of my winnings, one of my donuts. So I got the donut free. And I got me a French vanilla. And it came to three dollars and something. It's like, that's supposed to be a dollar. So I checked. I did activate it. Because it shows up in your offers. And you have to activate it to use it. So I looked at it. It was activated. So I didn't forget to do that. Well, it turns out it's an ice cap or a hot chocolate. So it's not a cappuccino anymore. So I ended up paying for it. Which really ticked me off, because the only reason I got something other than a coffee was because it was only a dollar. So, Timmy's is getting really cheap. And more than one way, um, when the original Tim Hortons Corporation sold out to an American company this American company was going to do away with the roll up the rim I can't remember what they called it Bas basically saying it was childish or some stupid thing like that I can't remember how they worded it but it wasn't very impressive so this American company thinks they know what Canadians want not so they continue it. It's all it's through the app now. You, you, do, you don't have actual physical roll-ups on the cups anymore. So the way they do it now is every time you buy a coffee, you get a chance to roll up in the app. That's where you determine whether you win or not. Well, beginning of March, I think March 3rd to March 31st, which was yesterday. Yeah, it's April 1st today. April Fool's! 
I know a few April Fools. They're not just fools in April, but that's beside the point. So, anyways, um, this is Tim Horton's 60th birthday. So it's different this year. For every every roll up that you get, you get a, a second one for each day, right? Every day you get a free roll. So because of this contest, I went to Timmy's every day this month. I missed one day. One day I didn't feel like going out. Maybe two. One that I know for sure. So I'm going to Timmy's, spending money every day. And... <laughs> I've always done pretty good on the roll-ups. Always. Not this year. So, the other thing too with doing it digitally is if you buy food, you also get points. Or, I, not points. Well, you get points, but a chance to roll up. So, I, I got breakfast sandwiches a few times, or breakfast wraps a few times. And there were days I had two rolls. There were days I had three rolls. Four rolls, right? So, minimum 30, probably closer to 40 roll ups. Out of those 40, I got two free coffees. I'm looking at the wrong, seat of, just the wrong side of my sheet here. Three coffees, two donuts. I won 60 points once. And I got a 5 cent per liter discount on the next 100 liters of gas with Journey Rewards. So I have to subscribe to Journey Rewards in order to get... So that's pathetic. That's all I won this whole friggin' month. month. Okay, bad enough. What I've noticed, and I saw this last year too, most of the prizes that you can win uh, are specific to a small group of people. People with subscriptions, right? Like this journey rewards thing. Not everybody has that. Um, there's other things like sports fitness center or something. You know, you win a certain discount on your subscription or membership cost, whatever it is. Not everybody has that. There's, there's so many prizes especially this year, that only count for a small number of people. So I guess that's their way of, you know, paying out less for prizes. It's just, they're getting so cheap. And I figured out, I, I still don't know if Tim Hortons offers a discount. A seniors discount. I've never seen a sign anywhere. I, I've never seen it online. I've never actively looked for it either. I've never asked anybody. But the way it used to be, every seven coffees I get one free. And McDonald's, they use points. McDonald's used to be the same way. You, you had a, a punch card or whatever and every time you get a coffee, you know, they, they punch this card and once you get the seventh one, you get one free. Well, they changed their... They go by points now as well. And... I'm not exactly sure how it works. But... At McDonald's, every time I buy a coffee, I get 166 points. And... Okay, I'll get, I'll get to that part to get a free coffee, I need 2,000 points. Well, last summer, I was going to McDonald's all the time. I, I had, like, tons of points. I got a lot of free coffees last year. But that works out to a free coffee every 12. So it's no longer 7, it's 12. And when I buy a, a coffee at Tim Hortons, it costs me $2.17 for a large. And at McDonald's, it's basically the same price, but because McDonald's offers a senior's discount on their copies, it only costs me $1.74. So it's cheaper, and I get a free one every 12, going by the points. So at Tim Hortons, they go by cost. They've changed it. They go by points. They're copying McDonald's. So they're going by points, 
and every every ten cents you get a point. So it'll cost me two dollars and seventeen cents for a copy. I get twenty one points. So to get a co a free copy, I need four hundred points. That works out to a free copy every nineteen. So they're, they're getting really really super cheap, and it's really ticking me off. So the other thing, I don't have a McDonald's cup out here, but the lids, I point out the problems with this, they, they copied McDonald's lids. The only difference is, a Tim Hortons lid has the maple leaf on the top. And I pointed out the problem with this before, because it sticks up so far, you know, your your mouth is, is up here, so if, if you have a, a deformed rim, like if there's a dent in it or something, which it does happen, then as soon as you try to drink from it, it's going to pour out that, that friggin' hole, which does happen. Now, the main issue I have with this, this particular lid design, is before I even open it, there's, the, the, the vent holes are pretty big, and there's just like coffee all over the top of this, this lid, before I even open it, and it's all over me. So, I gotta slurp it all off. The problem is, if it gets too far, it goes down in, in this rim here along the top of the cap. Now the problem is, when you go to drink I'm trying to do this with one hand, sorry. When you go to drink, your mouth is up here. Anything in this rim is going to pour out on your chin. It, it's, it's, of all the lids that they've had, it's the stupidest design that I've seen them have. And it just, and McDonald's is the same. They have the same style lid, so Tim Hortons is copying McDonald's there, what, there as well, right? Ah, uh, I've, I've complained about that before, but after this, this thing today, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not happy today with Tim Hortons. Uh, I'll, once I have 900 and something points right now, so there's a couple free copies there at Tim Hortons. I've got, I don't remember, I, I've got over 2,000 points in McDonald's right now, so there's a free copy there too, but I'm going to use my, my two copies, and I guess tomorrow I'll probably go in and get a hot chocolate instead of a French vanilla. I might even do that today, because I've been out for a while today. It's beautiful today, and my coffee's almost done, or sorry, my cappuccino is almost done, so I'll probably end up going back down grab something before I come home. And then I'll, I'll activate my, my points, and I will start using my points, so I'll get two more free copies. And then I'm done with Tim Hortons. <laughs> I, I don't even think I'm going to bother next year with the roll up the rim. It's just, I spent so much money there this, this month, just because of their contest, and, well, I barely got rewarded for it, so. So anyways... <laughs> In the last video, I was asking about these screws, if anybody knows what they're called. And, well, that video comes out tomorrow, <laughs> so I haven't had a chance to, to get anybody's opinion on them yet. But I, I kind of thought maybe they were called self-tapping screws. And they are. I, I went looking on Amazon last night, and they are actually called Panhead self-tapping screws. So I was right there on that guess. So I ordered a big big container of them, a whole bunch of different sizes and I think there's like 800 pieces or something. It cost me like $17 so I, I'll replace all these rusty screws and and ugh, too dark. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to this side where really. It'll lighten up a little bit, and you see this hole here. So this, there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's ten screws holding this this front panel on, and I've got probably six screws in there. I keep losing them. Oh no! Scanner. Attention, North Huron Flyer. Godrich is requesting mutual aid tanker support at a grass fire at 
That must be a heck of a fire to be asking for assistance from Blythe. We had one out on the highway here a few days ago. Actually, I think it was the day that I was cutting the, the bumper pieces. Walked in the door. I just I took my coat off, took my boots off. And then the call came in. It was just like right out here by the other side of McDonald's there. <laughs> it's like two minutes sooner I could have gone out. I just didn't feel like putting everything back on and going back out. It is, ah, bad timing. So... I'll come back. Attention North Hero. <laughs> okay. Some days I swear I'm losing my mind. Well, I'm, I'm going to do some welding today. I'm going to weld up those bumper pieces. I don't want to use this camera because I don't know if the welding is going to harm the, the image sensor in this one. I don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to use my, my cat car, the one that I used to use in here. And I was going to use my old tripod, which is missing the quick connect. And I'm thinking, oh great. <laughs> I'm looking all over the garage. I can't find it. So, my new tripod came with two quick connects for it. So I was going to put this, qu this new quick connect on the cat car and use it with my new tripod and uh, there's the quick connect for my old tripod <laughs> I swear I'm losing my mind <laughs> oh my goodness <sighs> okay so so apparently the grass fire is spreading towards the house that's why they're asking for help So I'm going to get everything set up here. And then I'll come back and I'll show the welding part. Okay. <laughs> I swear I, I spend more time preparing than anything else. So I'm getting everything all set up here. And, and the amount of stuff that just happened outside here in the last five minutes. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into it. Okay. So I got everything together here, and I'm looking at the angles, and like I said, I, it took me it took me a few tries to get the angle I got, and it's still not sharp enough. I'm going to move this one up a little bit. I just got my little mini C-clamps holding it onto this bar. It's the only thing I can, I can think of to keep it more or less steady. I guess I should turn that around. Yeah, stop falling. Because I'll be welding from this side. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to weld like in the corner, I guess, on each one. Then I'll be able to bend them to where they're supposed to be. without Because I, I can't move anything without loosening these clamps. Oh, yeah, i got to change that. Because I got one a little, I wanted these right in the center. That one might be all right. I won't have any. Yeah, I'll just I'll loosen this clamp here and just kind of move that sideways a little bit. But this was really hard getting everything in place. But it's the only way I can keep them together. Just clamp them to this bar, and I'll just tack them and kind of go from there. Because I know these are going to have to be bent inwards a little bit more than what they are. Well, I can see that. As you can tell just by looking at it, they stick out outwards a little little bit too much. I, I might, I should actually probably just cut more of an angle. Because then I'll have more of a gap to fill in if I don't. Maybe I'll do that. But I got everything clamped in place already. <laughs> might as well do it right. I, I wait for my camera to, to charge anyways. I, I turned it on and it's like, it's dead. It's like, oh crap. I haven't used it since last summer. Probably September or something. So the battery just kind of died. And it's it's nice and warm in here. The sun's shining, so it's heated my garage up nicely. So I got good conditions here. Put that back up there. That's 
really all I'm waiting for. <laughs> so I think I'm going to cut those down a little bit more. More of an angle before I begin. I'm almost sweating already. I had to take my winter coat off. Now I got my. I might have to take my sweater off too. Anyways, I'll continue on. <laughs> and hopefully, don't have any more action out front here. <laughs> In case you're asking, I know you are, I can't hear you, but I'm sure you are. Why am I grinding off the burrs <laughs> when I'm just going to be welding it anyway? Ah, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you'll know I tend to cut myself on those burrs. So, that is why. I grind them off, then I don't have to worry about them. So, I was going to show you... The piece of the disc is that hit me in the nose, but it is now gone. Because there was a there was a chunk missing. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try this again. Somehow it zoomed way in. That button is too easy to hit. <laughs> so at some point here, there was a notch taken out of the disc, and I I thought it was a piece of steel that hit me in the face. Apparently it was a piece of this. I was going to show you that, but not until I was ready to talk about it, and now it's gone. <laughs> so the rest of the disc all the way around is just kind of worn down, and that notch no longer exists. I should have the guard on here, but unfortunately, like right now, the disc is so small. It's worn down so far that it's, it'd be useless with the guard on it. So, safety reasons it should be there. And when, if I change the disc, I'll probably put it on. Because I, I had to take it off originally because I needed to get down inside something. And there just wasn't enough space. So, I had to take the guard off. So, it's looking a little bit better <coughs> better now. Did I hit that button again? Yes, I did. Oh, man. <laughs> so, I got it closer to the edge now outside edge so that's a whole lot better I, c I can do something with the inside here it's not a big deal I'll just weld up the hole so match it up looks uh, like they're on their way back oh <laughs> that made a huge difference. Oh, I think I hit the zoom button again. Nope. That made a huge difference. It lines up perfectly now. So, I, <laughs> I had the camera on it, and at some point I looked up and it was pointing straight down. I tighten it up as much as I can. That's that's why I stopped using this tripod. I don't like it. So okay, so now I will tack those up and see how things are gonna look. I gotta wait for it to cool down, obviously, because I can't find any gloves out here. I wonder if Zach's got some. I'll take a look. So now I gotta get the welder out.
So if you're wondering why I welded this up before I cut the actual bumper part, it's because I know I'm not going to get the angle right. I did pretty good here. If I center this, just more or less right about there. So this part is lined up good. Actually, they, they both look good. I thought this one needed to be bent up, bent upwards a little bit, but no, that's like perfect, right where it is. Okay, so I'm glad I cut those other angles. <laughs> cut a sharper angle, it fits better. So the reason I did that is because if I had to bend these up, then it would have, where I cut the bar here, it would have been a different location. That's perfect. So now what I got to do is I have to cut this across here. It's actually fairly thick steel. But I gotta cut cut across there. I this like I say this just holds the plastic piece on the front. It doesn't need to be super strong the way they've got it like that. So you cut that off. Then I'm gonna cut the bar straight across here. And then once I've done that I'll figure out where I gotta cut in the other place. They'll figure that out when I get to that part. <laughs> I think this still amazes me. It's a bumper and they got such thin steel. That's very thin. It's like half the diameter of my tube. If except that. It's pretty thin. So that's my next step. But before I do that, I'm gonna finish welding these. And that might be all that I do for today. Looks pretty straight. Well, yeah, it will, because I'm looking, there's a, a gap here. I thought maybe it was pointed upwards a bit, like this way upwards. But I had them clamped to the steel, so they'll, they'll be level. So I just, I just, when I cut this bar here, I just cut it on an angle. And that's all I did. So I will weld. Tech weld this side now to keep them from moving, and then I'll weld them up totally completely. And that part is done. And that's probably all I'll do today.
So, not my best welding job, but it's together. It's done. I was getting a cramp on my leg, so I was kind of rushed towards the end there. But I'm gonna wait for it to cool down. And then I will take a break here. And when I come back, I will clean it up. Oh my goodness. I'll clean it up and make sure there's no holes in it. And then we're good to go from there. <sighs> it wasn't difficult. This is I was on my knees like that. I was getting a cramp. Still no pain. I'm happy. No pain. So we're good that way. So I'm going to take me a break here. The monster's fully charged. Charger stopped before I started welding here. So it's nice and quiet. <laughs> And I'll take a look at that and make sure everything's good before I continue on. Oh, yeah, I... Uh, these holes... Remember the, the gaps that were there? They were a little more difficult to fill up than I thought. Because if I concentrated on one spot, I was actually making the hole bigger, so I just kind of quickly went around it. Give the first part a chance to cool off before I get back around to it. And that seemed to be what did it. It kept going in a circle until the hole got smaller and smaller. <laughs> it worked. I have no idea how much welding wire I have left. Uh, the one that's in there right now is the one that came with the welder. It was only like a half pack, so... I might have to get some more of that. I don't know. I will take a look. Open it up before I come, before I come home. Before I go in and see how much is left if I have to get some more tomorrow. Yes, I do have some more welding I will need to do. So that's all I got for now. I will check that after I take a break. I did pretty good. Um, I gotta do a little bit more. This side here looks okay. But this side, actually the welding looks better on this side. But that might be a hole right in the corner there. And there's a hole there. And a hole there. <laughs> I don't want any holes. Because if I have holes, the salt's going to get in, and I'm going to have the same problem again. Seven years from now. Actually, we're going on eight years. Holy smokes! Next year, next year, next month, it's the beginning of April right now. May 22nd is when I bought the monster. Eight years ago. So it's been a whole year since it's been paid off. Wow, it doesn't even seem like it. A year. Time's going so fast. I was at Independent... Saturday? Thursday. Yeah, I went and bought something. <clears throat> and the cashier... You know how they had that the headband with the, the the bunny ears? Well, she had that, but it wasn't just the ears. It was the whole bunny head, right? <laughs> the ears sticking up. And I said to her, 
I says, I can't believe it's been a whole year already. If you were that last year, and I remember commenting on it, that seems like three or four months ago. Oh, wow, time's going by so fast. I can't believe it's been a year. It's, wow. So I've had the monster for eight years now. So I'm guessing when I finish the bumper, the bumper will be good for another eight years. <laughs> well, seven and a half. That's insane. Oh, hey, I'm done for the day. I that's my project. One good project for the day. That'll be it. I just I'm exhausted. My feet are itching now. And my legs are my legs are weak from squatting and kneeling. At one point when I was welding, I had to take a break because I could smell burning rubber. So I think either my boots are on fire or my plastic pants are on fire. <laughs> nope. So I'm guessing just little pieces of molten lava were landing on it. It's burning just a little bit as they bounced off. But I could smell burning rubber and that's the only place it would have been coming from. Oh my goodness. I'm exhausted. Well, I'm happy. I got done when I wanted to get done. I'm not gonna put the Walter away because I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix those. That's not gonna happen today. I just I got nothing left. So my cat car worked worked well. Not sure what quality image it's gonna have, but. <laughs> stayed recording the whole time so I'm happy with that oh my goodness I never did get my phone call I I went to Ideal Supply and inquired about the batteries they were open today and I said just your cheapest this regular lead acid deep cycle I don't want gels because that'll raise the price up. Just your cheapest 40 amp hour, cheapest quality, cheapest price. They only have to last the summer. And she says, "Well, we won't have any in stock." I said, "Well, I figured that." So she got prices. She tried to get prices. She she can't get prices, so she's got to call. And she said, "Though they should, they'll probably call back within the hour." Well, that was three hours ago. I guess they ain't calling today. Uh, so I might call Medi Mediox tomorrow. Place I got the oh, the place I got the monsters batteries from. <laughs> place I got bought the ES950 from the original mobility scooter place I was dealing with there in Godrich. Call them up. <clears throat> And see what they got. Um, they they won't. They probably won't have the regular deep cycle. They'll have the the gel batteries. But there's no tax on them, so it might end up being cheaper to get them there. They'll deliver them. I'm not sure. Normally, they don't include a delivery cost. It's just they'll they'll bring them whenever they're they're already in Wingham, which is pretty cool. I like that they do that. So I won't have to pay any kind of delivery fee but like I said there on medical devices there's there's no tax so even if the other batteries from ideal supply are cheaper you know I'm gonna have to pay taxes on them and it might end up being more than what I can get you know without the tax so we'll see we will see I don't know so Mediox probably only has MK power. They only have quality batteries. I doubt they'll have cheap stuff. I think that's the only brand that they really deal with. It's like the 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 default mobility scooter battery company, MK Power. Every set of batteries I've had has have been MK Power, no matter where I get them from. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm done with this one. This video is going to be a little bit longer, apparently. It's okay, it's been a while since I put a long video out. But I achieved my goal today. I'm happy. As long as this keeps up, <laughs> I will be very happy. So, I guess that's all I got for this one.